And before we go on to that, um, there's also other activities, non-cash activities. I just want to briefly mention this. This is not the majority part of the, uh, the entire statement. But sometimes below the statement, after we list the end cash balance here, after this section here, sometimes there's also a section that tells you all the non-cash investing and equity activities. Basically, these are uh, activities that are major but has nothing to do with cash inflow and outflow. But we still sometimes in companies has a section to report these. So for example, if we acquire a building, we purchase a building, but at the same time we didn't pay cash, we didn't sign long-term notes, we're by issuing common stock to the other party. So making the other company part of our company's investor, this sometimes happens. Okay, so these are some of the infrequent activities. But sometimes since the dollar amount is very significant and it has nothing to do with cash, but we still list it as like a memo in the statement of cash flows activities right at the bottom. Okay, so these are what we call non-cash investing and financing activities. Anything that relates to long-term liability, equity, but has nothing to do with cash sometimes is reported here as a note underneath all the cash activities. The other examples, again, you may be acquiring land from another company, but you didn't pay cash immediately, you sign a long-term note. So in that case today, if my company is the purchaser side, I'm not paying any cash out today by purchasing that piece of land. I sign a long-term note, perhaps it's due 10 years from now or five years from now. Okay, but this is a major activity that relates to investing and financing, so sometimes it's also listed in the bottom of statement of cash flows. Okay, this is actually in the fourth section of this chapter. I just moved it ahead. You just need to know that the idea that sometimes when you look at a statement of cash flows, it has some of the non-cash activities. Okay, you don't have to memorize all of them. Basically, all these activities, if you, the easiest way to understand this is when you look at an activity that happened, if it has <coughs> nothing to do with cash debit or cash credit, it falls into non-cash financing and equity, um, investing and financing activities. Okay, if it's a long-term liability related, equity related activity, but you see from the description, you wouldn't need to debit cash or credit cash and it falls into this section. Okay, that's all to it. <coughs> 